long session, long break without some tutorials. And some of you got to be complaining on Slack that we are pretty slow, but that's no issue though. Uh, at least we have been able to cover a lot so far in PHP and some fundamentals have been set, right? So, uh, so far we've just been doing DOMI operations with no conditions, with nothing attached to it, just doing it. But truth be told, most of the times you actually do, uh, you actually do operations based on conditions. And that is why we have to get into PHP logic. And just like every other programming language, we have logic too in PHP. Now, I want you to consider a scenario where you actually open a website and you click on a button or you click on a link, a hyperlink. What happens when you click on it? If you notice there is some color change and yeah, that is some condition that is being implemented in the background. If you click on it and you come back, you see that the color is no longer, uh, for example, green. It is now kind of something purple, purple, something like that. Not good at colors. That is what conditions are all about. In PHP, uh, we have conditions, conditional statements, right? And uh, very often you will write code and you want to perform different actions for different conditions. You can use conditional statement in this case, right? Now, you should take note of something. Conditional statements, the definitely the, the, the return a boolean. So if we are putting a condition, then what we are expecting from that condition is a boolean true or false. If it is true, then we'll do something. If it is not true, then we'll do something and so on. In PHP, we have the following conditional statements. You have a, a if statement which executes some code if one condition is true. You have the if else statement which executes a, a particular block of code for a true and another block of code for a false. Then you have uh, the if else if else statement which is like a nested if which executes different blocks of code based on different conditions. Then uh, you actually have the switch statement. This one is uh, an enhancement of your if else if. This selects one of many blocks of code to be executed, right? Just like the if else, it will execute it based on the condition that has been passed in. So we are actually going to do a quick overview of all of this. We'll go to the if statement. The if statement executes some code if one condition is true. Take note if one condition is true. So in this case, we are working with just one condition. And you have your syntax there if then you pass in the condition. Uh, I want you to take note of um, the way it is, right? It is the way the syntax is. That is how you are supposed to write the condition, right? So um, switching to our browser, I have some code that has been written and I'm just going to explain it. Now we want to uh, test if statements. So what I have here, I have declared a variable called name and I've assigned it to our data and I want to check if the name is data. If the name is data, I'll print out your name is data. But in this case, I will first of all set the name to, to Andrew. Okay. Now, I don't know the name. So we have this now. You have the if condition, then you have the if statement, then you pass in the condition that should be met, right? Take note, I am trying to uh, compare um, Andrew to the variable name. The variable name was declared at the top. This will not be declared most of the times. Maybe you will have to actually get in the name from a user and uh, we actually do some conditions in the real world, right? But in this case, I've just declared it. And you see, if the name is equal to Andrew, then print out your name is Andrew. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch a little bit to my editor and try to execute this PHP. And you get to actually see this printed out. Your name is Andrew because the name was Andrew, right? 
Now, if I turn to changes to data and I try executing this code again, you see nothing is printed out on the screen because we haven't handled a case where if the name is not Andrew, right? Yes, that is how these statements are uh, are declared, right? You use if statement, for example, maybe you have a user session or you want to log out of a page and you want to first check if the user was logged in, right? If the user was logged in, then you can destroy. If not, then that is where we now get to the if else statement. Now, this now has two conditions. One block of code will be executed if one condition is met and another block of code will be executed if uh, the, the, the condition is not met. So you have the syntax here. Uh, you have your if statement as usual. Then what comes in now is the else, right? So uh, switching back to our editor, I also have some code for if else, right? So you have your normal if statement uh, passing Andrew for this case for now. You have your normal if statement. If your name is equal to Andrew, you should print out your name. Now else, right? This is the second part, else. This one now will handle the case where uh, your condition did not meet the requirements. In our first if statement, we did not handle this. The if statement, the else part, will actually print another block based on our condition. So you, if we run this, uh, PHP, else, uh, PHP, first run, you have that your name is Andrew. Just to, if you have that your name is andrew because our name is andrew now what if our name is not andrew what happens so if i change this to another name and i try to run our code you see that another block of code is executed your name is not andrew that is what is in here right your name is andrew is because this condition was met that is what if else statement is all about it will execute a block of code once the condition is met and execute another block if that condition is not met. So the next thing we're going to dive into is the if else else if statement, right? And it's like a nested if we have several blocks of code and we want to execute them if a particular condition is met. Maybe um we have a simple calculator and we want to actually get in you know, the the operator right so if the operator is plus you should print out the sum if the operator is minus you should print out uh, the, the difference and so on so the first condition you are going to test is for plus then you come you will not just use the else because the, those are just two conditions now you can do an else if you check for the multiplication else if you check for another operator and so on so the the else if it it doesn't have a, a this in an end you can always uh, do it as many times as possible right so the F else if statement executes different code for more than two conditions switching back to our editor or um, i have to actually write this so that we don't take too much time when we are uh, on our tutorial so this is just a piece of code that has been written and it is almost same as the if else statement if you notice now we get the name we check if the name is andrew if it is andrew we have this block of code right this could be block one block one uh, this other one block two and block three block four so you could have as many blocks as possible right? and each of them are going to be executed based on a particular condition so our if else this is a syntax you have a if statement first right then the next one is else if now we check if the name is andrew if the name is andrew then we'll print out block one now what if the name was data right 
Then I'm going to print out hi Tata. But are you sure your name is not Andrew? That's another block of code. Now I check again. What if the name was John, right? Uh, I also do almost the same thing. Another block of code. I could also check what if the name was Victoria, what if the name was Vicky, and so on. So you see, there are various blocks of code here that you can execute, but that will be executed only based on a, a particular condition, right? So um, now we end this with an else statement, right? Now, what if all of this, none of them existed, right? Then I'm just going to print out your name is not Andrew or let me print out something else. Uh, none of your names match, right? So this is how an else statement is. And if I actually execute this, uh, first, right? Our name is John. And we see this block of code. Hi, John. Your name is John. Now, if I change this name to like that, for example, and I execute this, you get a different line. Hi, Tata. Are you sure your name is not Andrew? And then, what if I pass in a name that does not exist? Sarah, for example. So you see that none of your names match, right? That is how an else if statement is used in PHP. A lot of things that you actually uh, use uh, else if statement in. But truth be told, most of the times you will substitute this with the next uh, statement that we'll be talking about, which is the switch statement, right? The switch statement is used to perform different actions based on different conditions, right? Just like a uh, the else if statement you see that we can execute different uh, blocks of code if particular conditions are met so in this case uh you have the syntax here you have the comparison operator that you want to use maybe if a variable name you want to check for a condition so you pass in the variable name then you use the case case has to do with okay maybe we had a um, a calculator and we want to get the operator right so the case one might be one which stands for maybe addition two for subtraction three for multiplication four for division as the list continues right so for example we could do that and for the first case if it was one we want to print out maybe the sum right so this is how you uh, switch cases and note what happens you have the break at the end right uh the break is used to uh uh jump out of that particular case statement so if you don't have this break it's going to be executing under the label one right so this is a syntax and we'll switch to our editor and actually see how that is used so we have this i have this piece of code uh i want to do a simple calculator something we did earlier and I want to get in the first number, the second number, then get an operator. Now my operator could be one for some. Um, let me let me actually do this here. Let's see. So you have one for um, add to subtract. I'm going to actually do that separate that with a slash n. so we have that right now we will get the operator and execute our code based on the operator right so our switch is going to take in the operator variable and for each of the operator that we will pass in it will check through scan through the list of cases and if anyone matches then it's going to print it out else you have the default which will be in case where we don't have any of the operator so we are going to print out invalid invalid operator right okay so if we try executing this code uh let me open my terminal sorry i closed that if we try to execute this code 
let's check out so we will php switch oh we are not inside so logics php switch php right good our simple calculator asks for our first number a passing 15 the second number a passing 10 and it asks for my operator so i have one for add two for subtract three for multiply four for divide and so on so if i pass in one then take note of what happens you see this block result loading sum 25 which one is that case one right so if i run the calculator again and i pass in 12 14 and i do something like uh, 3 you get a different block result loading product equal this you see so you see that each of the case statements will be executed based on what is passed in now take note of what is happening here case one so this is case two so case one will take in one so if you pass in something different from one and you were expecting addition it won't happen right so um i will run this and pass in an invalid value for operator right so maybe pass in plus instead of one right? so our terminal calculator is actually using the numbers for now but truth be told you could actually pass in uh, something here instead of one you pass in plus and you just need to make sure that you handle it well right so if i pass this you get this result loading invalid operator because we have our default here right so that is how switch case statements are used i'll actually send this code on github so that you could actually uh, download and uh, take a, a tour of it and see how you can speak it to fit what you want that is how conditional statements are so you should um uh, take note of what happens conditional statements are used frequently when during when doing programming you want to perform particular com uh, blocks of code or particular operations based on particular conditions that are made and that is how handy conditional operators can become so what we'll be jumping into we'll either be jumping into functions uh, and we are going to keep on seeing how these conditional uh, statements are applicable in php